The Peter Principle, by Lawrence J. Peter is a satirical exploration of the phenomenon where individuals within organizations tend to rise to their level of incompetence. Through a blend of humor and insight, Peter's work sheds light on the dysfunctional dynamics that often plague hierarchical structures. This literary analysis will delve into the key themes, literary devices, and the overall message conveyed in the text. One of the central themes in The Peter Principle is the inherent flaw in the way organizations promote employees. Peter argues that people are often promoted based on their performance in their current roles, rather than their abilities to excel in the new positions. This results in individuals continually moving up the organizational ladder until they reach a level where they are no longer competent. Peter humorously calls this phenomenon the final placement of an employee, where they remain stuck in a role they cannot effectively handle. This theme highlights the absurdity of organizational structures and their tendency to prioritize seniority and loyalty over competence. Peter employs satire to drive home his point, using anecdotes and examples to illustrate the consequences of the Peter Principle. For instance, he narrates a fictional story about a competent firefighter who, due to consistent success, gets promoted to the position of fire chief. However, as fire chief, the individual's incompetence becomes evident as they struggle with administrative tasks and firefighting strategy. This humorous narrative underscores the absurdity of promoting someone solely based on their past performance, regardless of whether their new role requires different skills. In addition to satire, Peter uses hyperbole to emphasize the consequences of the Peter Principle. He suggests that organizations ultimately become pyramids of mediocrity where incompetence is the norm. This exaggerated image serves to provoke thought about the real-world implications of promoting individuals beyond their competency levels. It also highlights the need for organizations to reassess their promotion criteria and consider factors beyond mere tenure. Furthermore, Peter touches upon the psychological aspects of the Peter Principle. He explains that many people who find themselves in positions of incompetence suffer from feelings of inadequacy and anxiety. This psychological toll can have a significant impact on both the individual and the organization as a whole. By delving into the emotional aspects of the Peter Principle, Peter adds depth to his analysis and appeals to the reader's empathy. The Peter Principle also indirectly critiques the bureaucracy and rigidity often found in large organizations. Peter suggests that these organizations tend to perpetuate the Peter Principle because they prioritize conformity and obedience over innovation and competence. This critique serves as a call to action for organizations to reevaluate their hierarchical structures and encourage a culture that values skill and adaptability. In conclusion, Lawrence J. Peters, The Peter Principle, offers a thought-provoking and humorous critique of the way organizations promote and manage their employees. Through satire, hyperbole, and psychological insight, Peter highlights the absurdity of a system that consistently places individuals in positions of incompetence. He urges organizations to reconsider their promotion criteria and embrace a more flexible and merit-based approach. Ultimately, the Peter Principle serves as a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of promoting individuals solely based on their past performance, without considering their suitability for the new roles they are assigned.